In this video, we'll learn how to use the main functionalities of the Oro 3D export plugin. Note that all features and fundamental concepts that will be covered here remain relevant and applicable within any digital audio workstations that are officially supported by the plugin. With their latest updates, a growing number of those allows you to natively create immersive mixes in various formats, including Oro 3D. The Oro 3D export plugin leverages on these capabilities and allows you to easily monitor, export and check your mixes using the Oro 3D technology suite. The Oro 3D export plugin can be used for two different applications that can be easily combined. The mixing mode and the quality control mode. Note that these modes are not set explicitly using for example a button, but are implicitly defined by how the plugin is instantiated and configured in the project. The mixing mode represents the main function of the plugin in which it is able to render different versions of the mix, for example, configuring and listening to a stereo, binaural or oral codec encoded version of the current project in real time. Of course, as it suggests, the Oro 3D export plugin in mixing mode ultimately allows you to export the various alternative versions. The quality control mode simply refers to the plugin's ability to decode Oro codec encoded content and check its quality and integrity. For example, decoding an Oro 9.1, Oro 11.1 or Oro 13.1 encoded mix. When it comes to creating an Oro codec encoded mix, the mixing mode and the quality control mode are typically instantiated sequentially, one after the other. First, we configure the plugin to export the Oro codec encoded mix, and next, we can verify whether the resulting files can be decoded properly. Let's start with exploring the mixing mode and render a mix in different ways. In mixing mode, it is recommended to insert the Oro 3D export plugin onto the master track. The plugin then processes all audio channels of the original mix at the very end of the audio chain. Keep in mind that any processing applied after the plugin will not be present in the exported mix. Once the plugin is inserted, let's first open the input menu to make sure that the incoming mix is feeding the plugin's channels correctly. At this point, it might also be necessary to select a relevant input format option via the input drop-down menu. In this example, we can see that the plugin automatically and correctly detected the input track format as Oro 9.1. Note that selecting an original Oro 3D input format will immediately activate the mixing mode, while choosing any of the available Oro codec encoded input options activates the quality control mode instead. Now we can inspect the output menu. The output menu is the place to check how each version of the mix impacts the output levels. Different versions of the mix can be selected for monitoring via the Monitoring drop-down menu. Let's now check out each available option in the Monitor drop-down menu. The Input Monitoring option sets the plugin to simply output the incoming audio signals of the track. When this option is selected, no further processing is applied to the original mix, so the plugin can be considered to be set to Audio Path-Through mode. The encoded monitoring option in mixing mode configures the plugin to encode the mix in real time using the Oro codec encoder. In this scenario, we can check the behavior of the encoded mix and listen to the resulting encoded output signal. An Oro 3D mix is typically encoded in a 5.1 or 7.1 surround format carrying the encoded information. In our example, the Oro 9.1 is now encoded into a 5.1 surround encoded mix. Note that 5.1 based Oro 3D formats, such as the Oro 9.1 and the Oro 11.1 formats, are encoded into surround 5.1 encoded mixes. Similarly, 7.1 based Oro formats, such as Oro 11.1, 7.1 plus 4H and Oro 13.1, are encoded into 7.1 surround encoded mixes. The behavior of the encoded mix can be configured in the Oro codec menu. This main menu is divided in four submenus. The first submenu settings allows to configure the Oro codec encoder settings and select the export options. 
The second submenu encode down mix lets us adjust the down mix levels of the input channels going into the encode down mix. The metadata submenu gives us control over the stereo down mix created in the decoder and allows us to configure the renowned aromatic up mixer in decoder devices. The last submenu, encoded output, allows us to check the output levels of the encoded surround mix even when actually listening to another monitoring option than encoded. Once validated, the encoded mix can ultimately be exported using the export button. Back to the output menu, and still in mixing mode, let's now select the decoded monitoring option. This setting configures the plugin to encode and immediately decode the mix in real time using the Orocodec encoder. As one of the key features of the Orocodec is to provide 100% channel separation, the decoded mix should sound exactly as the original one. This scenario is particularly useful to quickly check the quality of the decoded mix before exporting the encoded file, without the need of an external decoder device. The binaural monitoring option enables the Oro headphones binaural processing in the plugin. This option allows to listen to the immersive mix using standard headphones. Note that the binaural processing can be adjusted in the Oro headphones menu. Settings are provided for the built-in room simulation, as well as a head size adjustment. Make sure to adjust this one to achieve the best binaural results adapted to your personal physiology. Finally, the Stereo D-Mix monitoring option in mixing mode creates a standard stereo down mix output in real time. After we have selected, configured and listened to those alternative versions of the mix, it's time to create the export. To do so, we can simply export our encoded mix using the Oro Codec Encoder export button, or use the bounce options natively provided by the DAW to export our binaural mix or stereo down mix. More information on various export methods can be found in the online manual. To access the online manual, simply click on the Information button at the top right of the plugin and click again on the yellow Support button that appears afterwards. Now that we have exported our Oro 9.1 mix into an encoded 5.1 surround mix, we will use the quality control mode to run a final integrity test. In quality control mode, the Oro 3D export plugin is not inserted on the master track, but directly on the audio track containing the existing Oro codec encoded content instead. It is recommended to create a brand new session that is dedicated to checking the encoded content. Once the plugin is inserted in a corresponding audio track format, we open the input menu and select an appropriate input format option via the input drop-down menu. In our case, we inserted the plugin on a 5.1.4 or Oro 9.1 track and correctly selected the Oro codec encoded 5.1 input option. Let's now go over each available option in the monitor drop-down menu. The input monitoring option sets the plugin to simply output the audio signals coming into the input channels of the track. Again, in this scenario, no additional processing is applied to the mix. The plugin can thus be considered to be set in audio path through mode and simply used to listen to the original encoded mix from the Oro codec encoded audio material. The decoded monitoring option in quality mode configures the plugin to decode the Oro codec encoded content in real time using the Oro codec decoder. This is certainly the most useful option for checking the quality of the encoded audio content. If successfully decoded, the decoded format is explicitly indicated in the input menu as well as in the output menu. When the plugin fails to decode, the resulting format is set to the value NA and all related indicators remain turned off. The binaural monitoring option in quality mode sets the plugin to decode the Oro codec encoded content and process the decoded signal into binaural stereo using the Oro headphones technology. This option allows us to listen to the decoded mix using headphones and adjust the binaural processing in the Oro headphones menu. Finally, the Stereo D-Mix monitoring option in quality mode configures the plugin to decode the Oro codec encoded content and downmix the decoded signals into a standard stereo signal in real time. That's it! Now we know how to use the main functionalities of the Oro 3D export plugin. We hope that you will enjoy this tool as much as we do and that it will boost your immersive creativity as much as we intend it to.
See you next time.